Hi everyone, welcome to Lifestyles and Design by Ginger. And that's me, I'm new to YouTube and I can't wait to go on this journey with all of you. And I can't wait to inspire you. I can't wait for you to inspire me. I'm gonna be setting up a uh, Facebook page and um, I want all your comments and your pictures and everything to go to there. Um, and I'm gonna see how that works. Um, Yet I've heard, you know, a lot of people do the comment below and, put, you know, putting down the links. I'm going to do it this way. What is lifestyle and design about? Well, it's about a few different things. So let's first off start about design. Um, I have designed uh, restaurants. I've designed hair studios. I've helped my friends um, with their homes. I have restyled mine over and over again. And um, I have a lot of background in the fashion and beauty industry as well with hair. And um, I was a platform artist, I was a model. I have a lot um, with design um, for a background. And I just, I really wanna help you make your fabulous. Now, when you punch in your key to your house or turn that key to your door to go in, I, I really and truly want it to be your sanctuary. I really want it to be your fabulous. Who are you as a person? Not only looking at your clothes and your style, you can take a lot from that for your living spaces. And I really want you to be in touch with that. I want you to um, look around if you're wanting to redecorate. I don't want you to think you need thousands or millions of dollars to do so. I'm here to help you to maybe we can take vases and we can repaint them. Maybe we can take collectives and make it more of a focal wow instead of having it everywhere. Maybe you need to take a lot of your collectives and put some away and then bring them out again and, you know, do do kind of like, a, oh, you know, putting away, taking out... Um, getting some um, a new light you getting something new to look at and I'm trying to think of the word right now and I can't think of it so just don't have it everywhere so your eyes don't even know where to go let's make focal points and um, so when people see it go wow that is so awesome I love chicken and roosters and we have redone the home more in black white and gray with different accents now, a lot of my colorful roosters that I had, because we were very farmhousey, kind of hippie, bohemian too, I have sprayed them all in a black flat or a black white now, because I still love them, but I want, and I still want to see them, but now they're fitting more into, and I didn't have to go out and buy that. Um, don't think you need thousands of dollars. Send me your pictures. Let, let's see what we can do to re re recreate, reuse, um, and not thinking that, oh, you know, I need thousands of dollars to do that. I want you to have fabulous for yourself, for your home, for your family. You know, the last year and a half, almost two years now, you know, it's been really tough with COVID. And we've all kind of gotten into a little bit of, well, I don't got to look good. I don't got to like you know, do myself up, pretty top here, sweats on the bottom for the Zoom meetings. I want to, and this goes for men too. I want you to like, let's get back to being fabulous. And my motto here is, if it's not fabulous, don't do it, don't eat it, don't have it, don't use it, don't be it. Let's get back to loving and living life. And I know there's still protocols out there and I know there's still some stuff happening but let's take the steps to, you know, go forward. So <clears throat> inside and outside your home, um, husband and, um, is a landscaper and he has a horticulture degree and he, ha he has done amazing work. He's going to be on talking about landscaping as well. And I do a lot of designing and um, he, he's got the vision and then he takes my, what my vision is and we put it to work. And we can't wait to redo. We had a storm in August here um, that uh, really ripped up our yard. So we got some cleanup, redesigning and rethinking to do. And I've already got that in the works. 
So let, let's get back and I'm going to be showing you what we have done in other videos. Um, but this is kind of my introductory video. So I want to, I want to move on from that. Let's, let's go to the kitchen now. <clears throat> so I am 56 now and I started um, in the food industry when I was 15 with my boyfriend, now husband. <clears throat> and we worked at the armories. That's where our training is. And man, I'm telling you, I think every person in the food industry needs that um, training. It's a really great way to be trained, but it can also be a hindrance because going out is really tough for us. When you are trained in that manner, there couldn't be a thing out of place. Our cells couldn't be out of place. The food, the um, attitude, uh, the hosting, uh, silverware, not like I'm talking. When we did the armistice balls, there was like an eight course meal. It was on, baby. You could not have a thing wrong. So, like I said, the best training possible, but also a hindrance because it's really hard to accept when you go out and you're dropping 200 bucks not to have great service. And you know, when you walk through that restaurant and you are greeted by the hostess, you can tell what kind of evening you're having. You're having. We were just out not too long ago. We finally got to get together with some friends, you know, through COVID. And we went to this uh, restaurant and uh, right from the moment we walked in to the moment we walked out, it was an absolutely horrible experience. It was really tough. It was a tough evening to get through, but we kept going, no, we can do this. Pretend we're this. And it just got, it was just one of those unfortunate um, evenings. I want you to think when you are entertaining, to give yourself time to um, be ready for yourself as a host and hostess. I want you to not think that you have to have, you know, 15 appetizers. Mmm, reel it back. Have three, four, five maybe tops. Have more of them and do them. That's the best way. Because when you are having 15 different appetizers, you are throwing stuff, you're trying to get this done, that done, everything done, and you lose yourself. Then as a hostess or host, you don't have time to get your own self ready because you're so busy in the kitchen and you're busy in the kitchen while your company's here. I want you to realize that when people come to your home, yes, it's about the grub but they're coming to see you. So be there with them, not in the kitchen continuously. Okay, so we had a restaurant. We had a cooking show for 13 years in our home city. Uh, we have the training, the background of crazy. And I wanna help you to get your kitchen um, so things are handy yet organized. And I'm tired of everyone saying be a minimalist you need to look and you need to have it so it's awesome for you, fabulous. Don't just keep putting stuff in cupboards to get, have a few things, have some nice decorations. I'm not asking you to put your spices all over on your counters, but let's be realistic. We need our stuff handy. And um, I also want you to take a look at your kitchen. You don't need 10 whisks. Now my hubby would say different. But you don't need 10 whisks. You need maybe three. May, I'm going to go at the very most four. Because there are different things that the, the whisks are used for. There's the smaller ones. There's the more that are ballooning that you need for different recipes. Let's, let's, recon, let's reconstruct your kitchen so it's perfect for you guys. Because maybe some of you don't even hardly cook. Yet you have three rice cookers. Because this one says this. That one says that. And... Oh, this one, you know, this is the bomb over here. Let's make it reasonable for what you need. Okay. Um, each video, I'm going to have one recipe that we're going to do. And I can't wait to have the kids on. I don't know if they're all going to come on, but um, I just can't wait to show you what we used to do and what we're going to be doing now. I, I just, it's going to be so much fun. Okay. 
fashion and beauty industry. Man, it has been hurting for the last year and a half or so. We got to get back to being fabulous and being wanting to look good. Um, we got to, and I'm not saying you have to doll yourself up every single day. What I'm saying is, let's get back to wanting to feel good and look good and be fabulous and go out there and spread that fabulous. So many Zoom meetings where you do the, us ladies do the pretty on top, yet we have our sweats on the bottom. Okay, we got to get back into reality of that. And as far as makeup and doing yourself up all the time, you know, I, I had a couple of friends, um, way back makeup artists, and they said to me, never go without mascara or your lips. Because we want to see your eyes and we want to see your lips. And that has stuck to me, stuck with me all these years. And um, I first got into the beauty industry in 1983. And I owned my own hair studio for 23 years. And just watching the difference from back then to what it is now and how things you know, keep recycling, things keep going around. And it's been really fun and interesting to see how much um, things do come back, but with a little twist. And so, um, except for one thing, oh, it's really hard to still, still do and still see is that mullet. It has tried to come back so many different times. And I just, you know, I think it's okay for some people, but it's not a trend that I just want to see keep trying to come back. It's killing me. So um, let's get back to fabulous with that too. <clears throat> I want you all to be true to yourself, true to your own fashion, true to your own what you love. And a lot of that should be into your house as well. Look at your closet. What do you wear? What do you love being in? What makes you fabulous? I think a lot of people miss the boat on that when they're doing their home. They try to do what maybe Susie Q wants down the street or their sister comes over and goes, mm -hmm, I wouldn't have done that. No, you have to be true to you. Forget about what Susie Q has. Forget about what her influence is. She might like, you know, polka dots and triangles and you don't at all. Don't let it influence you. I've been doing a lot of research on YouTube and watching a lot of different stuff. And one thing I will not say here is don't be negative to yourself. Don't go, oh my gosh, I have all these signs and all these everything. But I love them. You know, they're trying to get rid of them and trying to get you to do your farmhouse in a different way and that is great but if you really love them you need to keep them do your fabulous do your love do your sanctuary but maybe maybe we can make it so that it's more collective for you and not just everywhere maybe that's if you're tired of it but still love it Maybe we can reconfigure it. Okay, now on to the wellness and health. I think we've learned a lot in the last year and a half. And I think um, there hasn't been enough talk about getting yourself healthier, getting your immune system healthier by what you intake as well. I'm on the other side of life at 56 and I really got to start looking at um, you know, being stronger for the future in case I fall. Being a hairstylist and watching some of my older clientele, some that have really kept up their health, made themselves strong and have fallen, have done way better than those that, you know, they just... And sometimes circumstance doesn't leave them to be able to do stuff. But please, if you are able to... Start lifting those weights. Do some cardio, but really and truly, you got to get strong. 
when you fall and you got to like be strong after surgery and be able to still, you know, you still want to rock on, you got to start with that support, that foundation of being strong. So I am so about, we got to get strong again. And there hasn't been enough talk about getting yourself healthy, whether you ha need to start juicing, whether you need to really look at your diet. I hate saying the word diet. The way you're eating or choosing to, to eat, and I'm not saying you can't have sneaky snacks because I am the last person. I am a chocoholic and I am a chipaholic. But instead of having that whole bag, or maybe just once a week having that um, sneaky snack time. I'm also a person that totally, you know, has to watch the amount. Because when I get involved with that chip, I, so now I have to go to, okay, this is my bowl, and this is all I'm having, and that is that. And sometimes it's tougher to do, but we, we got to do it. Getting older, we have to seriously start looking at what that means for us later on if we're blessed to get there. Um, because we just, there's so much that can happen. And we need that inner strength, that nourishment, that health goodness in order to maybe survive. And... You know, I think this year has taught us that we need to pay attention to that more. And that for me, none of that, there has not been enough of that said to help us to get into better shape, into better wellness. And I, I, I am here to tell you, please be on the journey with me with that as well. Let's, let's get together. Let's talk about it. Let's go on the Facebook page. What do you need help with? I am here to help you. I am also a PTSD gal. And um, I also want to be there for anybody who suffers from it, who has a mental illness. I am telling you right now that you are worth the healing. You are worth putting yourself in the hell of fire and facing it all and coming out the other side. I am here. I want you to know that it is work. And I will have it for the rest of my life, but it no longer controls me. I want you to know without a question that I am here and I know the help. I want us to be there more for each other. I don't want any more excuses of COVID. You, we have got to be here for each other. We have got to know when somebody else needs that smile, needs that hug, needs that support, needs that time for someone to actually listen to them. I want to go on this beautiful journey with all of you. I am not going to do a lot of editing because life is real and I'm going to stumble. When we cook, a blender could blow up because it happened to us on another cooking show. We're going to keep it real. My husband and myself, we do a lot of banter because oh, it's husband and wife, right? Um, we have a lot of fun and we have a lot of great times with our kids and we've gone on an amazing adventures and I am very, very blessed to have an amazing family. Let's let's spread the fabulous, let's get fabulous, and um, I hope you enjoyed my introductory um, video. I cannot wait once again to go on this journey with you all, and let's live a beautiful life and let's spread it. All right, till next time, take care, and really seriously, live fabulous.